Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the first day of spring is here. Let's all rejoice. This is amazing. Okay, you know it's time to do a little spring cleaning with respect to all, and I say all, of my running gear. I try to do this every single year, not necessarily on the first day of spring, but it just so happened to work out like that today. Uh, you know it's time when I'm gonna wear these long sleeve these uh, these long sleeves from Zenza. I love these things instead of my coat. That's right, and I'll probably even take these off about halfway through the run today. Uh, and yes, taking out the turbos. Why am I taking out the turbos? I haven't worn these since December, maybe even November. I've just been sitting on them and sitting on them. Basically, uh, I'm not gonna go fast today. But it's getting it's getting closer to going a little bit faster, a little bit faster in these middle distance runs. So taking the turbos out, and yes, I am a little sore from the mountain adventure up Mount Morrison on Monday in the uh, Innovate Mud Claws. And again, shout out to Innovate for seeing some of these vlogs. If you uh, if you go check out the Innovate Twitter page, they are they are loving the vlogs. Thank you, Innovate, for the support. But I'm a little sore because of that run, so I am gonna put on the Mojo socks and. These are my compression socks that I wear when I'm sore, especially just to help uh, draw a little more blood to my calves to help relieve a little bit of that uh, soreness from my legs today as we recover for, you know, the future, tomorrow's run, and the next day's run, and the next day, and the next day. All right, YouTube family, spring cleaning here at the Demore Household. Here we go. All right. All right, back from the run in the turbos, and I did not film anything on the run today. was just focused for the 15 miles, 24 kilometers, uh, 6.30 per mile was the pace, or four minutes per kilometer, and was feeling, feeling real good. Feeling real good. My legs are sore from the mountain session on Monday, as I already mentioned, but uh, I have not run in the turbos since December, so three months ago, because I knew if I put these shoes on, I would want to go faster. I'm okay with that. Here's my training log. I'm going to note down down today that I went a little faster than expected going completely by feel I was just going by feel I wasn't trying to go fast I was listening to the legs as I started off at seven minute pace and sure enough as I continued to warm up as the legs warmed up they just wanted to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster so I let them and I'm talking like the legs don't belong to me but I really really was going by feel based off of the legs so anyway very exciting day in the turbos okay one last all right, I know we're gonna talk about spring cleaning here in one second, but uh, a package arrived, and you know how much I love uh, Arthur Lydiard, and so I believe this is a book, another book. I've read a lot of running books, but he's my man when it comes to uh, old school coaching and running, and so this is, yes, Running with Lydiard is the name right there. Uh, hopefully you can see that, and basically, it says uh, a forward by Terry Crawford, the greatest running coach of all time. That's a pretty big claim to make, but he definitely laid the foundation. I'll, I'll put it that way. He laid the foundation for many, many other distance co distance coaches in the past, you know, two, three, four decades. So I'm excited about this running with Lydiard. All right, that's it. Now, I'm going to go attempt to collect all of my running gear, lay it all out for you, walk you through what I have, what I own. And yes, I'll just mention right now, a lot of the items are listed down below in case any jump out at you that you're like, oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that, or I'd like to own that, or that could help me for my trail running season coming up. So, all right, let's go inside. Come on. All right, I got it all from the studio, got it from the car. Now it's time to get organized. I think I found it all. I, I pulled out everything. Winter, summer, all of my running gear right here. It's, this is so old. This is probably 12 years old. It's from Brooks. It's a long sleeve. I didn't wear it much this winter. I don't know why. You know why? Because I kind of forgot it was buried underneath some of my other pieces of outerwear that I never even touched. So I think I'm actually gonna keep this because I like it and I think it still has mileage in it. Oh man, man, oh man. See like this one. 
Oh, but it has a hoodie. Oh, I love it. I'm keeping it. I love long sleeves with a hoodie. I don't know about you. This is from the Dirty 30 last year, the 50K where I crashed and burned. All right, moving it on. This is from last year's half marathon, the back country, where I took second place to uh, Joe Gray. It's just a little too much polyester. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it's a hundred percent polyester. Yuck, I don't like a hundred percent polyester. It just doesn't feel good to me on the skin. So we are moving this on. Hopefully somebody can use this after donating it to uh, Goodwill. <clears throat> Proud of myself, moving on a pair of old CU pants. Oh, that's, it's hard, it's hard, but I don't need three pairs of windbreaker CU pants. And the keyword, gotta be spring. And there it is, spring cleaning 2019 for my running gear, almost done. We're gonna go out to the studio and I'm just gonna give you a few quick tips on what I do for staying organized. And honestly, it's just all about simplicity in running. Sometimes I'm guilty of it as well. We can overthink running just a little bit. Like we're not, I always say this, we're not hockey players, we're not skiers, we're not mountain bikers, we're not golfers, oh my gosh. So basically, it, I, I, listen, every now and then I'll, I'll go play golf. I'm, I'm nothing against golf. I just don't own any golf equipment. Why? I like simplicity in my life and running. Let's like, you know, no reason to overthink it and just buy all the gear in the book. Okay, Whew, look at that pile. Oh baby. Changing it up tonight in the studio, a totally different angle because we're getting ready for the live stream. So things are a little tighter in here. And yes, talked about FKTs trail shoes and open Q&A last night if you're watching this this morning. So, all right, here we go. Taking the bag into the car. That's right. Moving the stuff on. That's That bag will go to Goodwill and hopefully somebody else can use some of those clothes moving forward. And my rule of thumb as I'm sitting there on the floor sifting through all of this stuff, I ask myself, I ask myself a couple different questions, but one of them is, did I wear this piece of outerwear, this piece of running gear in the last year? If I haven't worn it in the last year, there's a really, really good chance I'm not gonna use it anytime moving forward. So that, that's what I was asking myself. And now, everything you see on the floor there is mine. I'm gonna use it all moving forward in 2019. I do believe, including those jackets on the far right there, I've got my, my raid light vest, which I use almost every single day. I've got my trekking poles, which I probably won't use as much in 2019 because I'm not training for a 100 mile race, but I'm of course gonna hold on to those. Uh, and then one of my uh, my favorite things is my green running hat. And yes, I do have it already, I've already purchased a backup green running hat and then a white one as well. And just so you know, in the process of going through all of these items, I did realize like, yes, I probably will need to buy another pair of running glasses in 2019. We'll see how long the Goodards uh, survive. I can tell they're already getting a little beat up and scratched up, so probably need new sunglasses. And then I will likely pick up a couple pairs of running shorts as we transition into warmer weather up here in the Northern Hemisphere. So that's kind of nice. Like, it's not just getting rid of stuff, it's also realizing, yeah, I could probably use another pair of, uh, you know, whether it's socks, whether it's a new tech shirt, whether it's whatever the case may be, uh, maybe a new uh, handheld water bottle, for example. And if you haven't done it already, I would strongly recommend, if especially if you have more than three, four, five pairs of running shoes, like you have three or four trainers, maybe an easy day shoe, and then a racing, you know, maybe two pairs of racing shoes. Having that uh, rack that you see there laying on the floor, it basically hangs up on the inside of your closet. That thing is a lifesaver for me. I think I picked mine up at Target, just so you know. Oh man, that's the only reason I'm able to really function and think clearly inside the house with all the different running shoes that I'm testing out for you guys. So anyway, that's a that's a nice little thing to have for organization. So now my peace of mind is soaring. I can't even tell you. I've got a pile of running shorts, a pile of long sleeves, a pile of, uh, of long pants, 
and not very many. And then I've got my running t-shirts. And I will say, like, I don't know about you guys, but I do, I usually run without a shirt in the summertime. I put sunscreen on, I put sunscreen on, but there's nothing like running outside when it's, you know, above 80 degrees. You know, it's like you just get so hot. So that's what I like to do in the summertime. I'll have a vest on sometimes as well. But uh, so my running t-shirts, see ya, they're out the door. Ones that, again, that I just don't love wearing. And I always say, you can't take it with you, right? It's like you, you can hold on to things, you know, items, objects. But at the end of the day, we can't take it with us. And so what do True Love and I ask ourselves when we are, uh, you know, thinking about purchasing something inside the house? We ask ourselves three things. Uh, do we love it? Can we afford it? Will it last? Okay? And I know, like, does that apply to running gear? I think it does. Do you love those running shoes? Can you afford them? <laughs> and will they get you some good mileage? Or maybe it's sunglasses. Maybe it's a hat. I don't know what it might be, but that's the beauty of uh, having competition in the running gear market because hopefully it drives the prices down for us, the consumers. Okay, once again, keyword is spring. Keyword is spring and the question of the day. Do you do spring cleaning? And when was the last time you sifted through your running gear? And maybe you're like, wait a minute, I don't have anything. And that's great. If you don't have anything in the running gear department, like you keep it really simple and small, kudos to you. But who knows, maybe you need to go through your stuff. Maybe you went through your stuff last week, like you just decided enough is enough. I need to get rid of some things. So what what do you do spring cleaning? And have you gone through your running gear? Uh, at any point in time, frankly. All right, that is it for today's vlog. I'm firing up the live stream, and tomorrow's a big day of running, so I gotta try and get to bed early tonight, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut it there. Cut it there, YouTube family. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. The light keeps going out, the light keeps going out.